And in Thailand, rice prices have seen a sharp surge in recent months as major producers curtail their trade and supplies. This could impact millions of consumers around the world with Asia and African countries expected to bear most of the brunt. Thailand, the world's second largest rice exporter, is urging its farmers to reduce rice cultivation as part of an effort to conserve water. Secretary General Office of the National Water Resources, Shiraki Mokundimontun, in a statement says, Thailand's National Water Administration is encouraging farmers to consider planting crops that require less water and have fast, uh, faster harvesting cycles. The cumulative rainfall is approximately 40% below normal levels, posing a high risk of water shortage. Moody's has caught ratings of 10 mid-sized U.S. banks by a one notch and placed six bank giants, uh, including Bank of New York, Mellon U.S. Bank Bankrupt, and uh, State Street and Trustee Financial on review for potential downgrades, warning that the sector's credit strength is likely to be tested by funding uh, risk and weaker profitability. The credit agency noted that many banks' second quarter results showed uh, growing profitable pressures that will reduce their ability to generate internal capital. This comes as the mild U.S. recession is on the horizon for early uh, 2024 and asset quality looked set to decline, while commercial real estate are the key risks due to the highest high interest rates and decline in office demand as a result of remote work and a reduction in availability of cre uh, credit. Zoom, the video communications company whose name became synonymous with remote work during the COVID-19 pandemic, has asked its staff back to the office. The firm said it believed a structure hybrid approach was uh, most effective and people living within 50 miles of an office work uh, office should work in person at least twice a week. It is the latest push by the major firm to roll back flexible working policies. Amazon and Disney are among the first that have reduced remote working days. About 12% of workers in the U.S., where Zoom is headquartered, were fully remote in July, while another 29% had hybrid policies, according to surveys by researchers at Stanford University, conducted monthly since the pandemic. And crude oil prices slipped today after data showed China's imports and exports fell more than expected in July, in a further sign of weakness growth in the world's largest oil importer. Although losses were limited by expected supply tightness, U.S. West Texas intermediate crude fell to sell at $80.99, with a downward price review of 1.16%. Brent also experienced a price decline of 1.22% to sell at $84.30 per barrel. Bonnie Lach recorded a downward price margin of 0.73% to sell at $87 per barrel. And for the OPEC basket, crude dealers are offering $87.95 with an uptick of 1.49%.